All right, kiddos, here I'm going to show you how to make your own pictures for your drawing machine. First, you open up Inkscape. There it is. Now, you see this is the page. That's a normal A4. We need to change it to be the size of our machine. So go to Document Properties. Change the width to 235. And the height, 125. Put those in and then just close that. You see now the page size has changed to about the same as your drawing robot. Now go to extensions, G code tools, tools library, and click graffiti. Now press apply. When that's done, you can close that box and you'll see you've got that new green one. Use the select tool. Drag it a bit closer so it's easy to see. Now if you zoom in on here, these are the settings that it will put into your code. So we just need to quickly set these. The diameter, that's how thick the pen is, set that to 1. Now the feed, that's how fast the machine will go, set it to 10,000. And then these are the codes which tell it what to do when it starts drawing a line. So it's the put down a pen line. So that's S500, and then when it finishes a line, it will lift the pen up. So just make sure you set those right. That's 1, 10,000, and 10,000. And make sure you put it exactly in those boxes and replace the old numbers. Now, we can test it. Oops, no, we go to extensions. And we're going to just fix up a few more settings. So that's path to G-code. Make sure that depth function is 1. Set the scale along Z axis to 0 0.2. And just make sure all your settings are the same as on mine here. Now here's the tricky part. This is where it will put the file when you create it. So write this in, but yours won't have that name Jake Wilkinson. It will have your name or the name of your computer. Now to get that, you can just write it in or you can go to Documents. Find your drawing folder. Can you see that there in Documents? And Control click. And you see it says copy path. Press that. And that's just copied the name of that path, that long script there. So I press Control V and it puts it in. Let me delete that and show it. So I can delete that. And when I press Control V, it puts it in. And that's it. Close that now. Press the pencil. Now I'm just going to draw a few lines. This is what we're going to print first. Isn't it beautiful? There we go, we're going to test this one, a little cross by T's, I'm going to dot my eye. Now, when you're going to print it, you have to select it, so I'm going to select it now. Um, move it down a little bit so it's more inside the box. Now go to Extensions, G-Code Tools, Path to G-Code again, and now you can just press Apply. And that's converting it into a G-Code file, just press OK if you get that one. And now, it's converted it into G-code, and you see it's put all those little arrows here. It's made another image. You can just drag that. Delete that. You don't need to keep that. Now, let's go make sure it saved it. So, go to your drawing folder, and it'll be that new one. Let's go make sure it worked. So, we open up Universal G-code Sender. Takes a little while. And we can go to file mode, browse, and it'll be the highest numbered one. Whoops. Double click, and then we just visualize and make sure he worked. And there we go. So now you can print that exactly like we printed the ones the other day. All right, kiddos, now here is how we actually get a picture that already exists, like off the internet, and convert it into uh, something that our drawing machine can read. Now first we need to get what we had before in Inkscape. Now I hope you saved this, because if you don't save it, you'll have to go through and set up everything again. So save this default file, and then you can open it and make pictures in it later. So now, I need to go and pick my image. So I go to Import, and I've got two here that I've downloaded. I've got a Charizard and a Pikachu. 
Now, it'll work best with cartoon pictures with nice solid colors and black lines. Make sure that it's set to smooth. And there's our beautiful Charizard, but he's way too big. We have to scale him down a bit and make sure he's going to fit on our page. There we go. Now, to, right now, it's just like a GIMP image. We need to change it into lines. So press this trace bitmap. And press it, oh, make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see. Drag him down there. Press live preview. Now this is what it's coming up with. It's doing a, a few little things to trace it. Play with the options until you get something you like. The first one's usually best, the one that's brightness cut off. So press OK. And that's it, it's done. Now you can close this window. And we've actually got two images now. We've got the original one, which we can drag out of there, and the outline, which we just did. So this is an outline image. This is something that we can go to extensions, go to G-code, and go path to G-code, just like we did with the squiggly lines we made before. So just for fun, I'm gonna go and change the name of the output file instead of output, because I'll just forget if I call them all output. So we're gonna call this one a new Charizard so we can remember what it is. Go back to path to G-code, press apply. It's gonna convert it to G-code for us. And that's it. Let's go and test it. So open up G-Code Sender. Go to File Mode, Browse, and there he is, new Charizard. Let's open him up. Oh, I did it again. There we go. And let's visualize just to make sure. And there he is. That is how you can convert any image you like. Now you might get different uh, results depending on what image you use. Like I said, it works better with nice cartoony images with nice sharp lines that are easy to trace. If you went and got a picture of the Mona Lisa or something like that, which doesn't have nice sharp lines, it might not come out as well. But give it a try, see what you come up with and show me next time I see you. Good luck guys.